What's up, everybody? Chance from Aqua Escape inside Aqua Shella. We just walked in. Black lights. They look red on the camera, but they're black lights. So let's see. I don't know, yeah. So we got a planet aquarium over here. Not really. Artificial plants. Nice manzanita though. Siri stone. More glow in the dark coral y stuff. <laughs> Some discus. Very cool. What's up, man? Cardinal Tetris up there. So as an aquarium hobbyist and aquarium nerd, this is really cool, you know? There's something that's dedicated to what we love. Yeah, you know? it's really neat. As simple as that is, man, that's that. really cool. I, I love I like neon tetris. Just the type of only neon tetris. Got a little pond feature over here. Squid boy, squid boys action going on. Some salt, reef pro mix. For you salty people out there, Fritz Aquatics. Really dope looking jellyfish. Awesome. Meadow warm. Yeah. Oh, warning about epilepsy. Cool stuff, guys. Looks like we're getting into some coral stuff now. Nice Neptune system auto doser. They use something like that for your fertilizers, your micros and micros. Here's some nice corals for you salty folks. All sorts of zoas and stuff. You can't really see them. Hammers. Well, here. No, no, do this. Here we go. Let's see. There we go. Coral vision brought to you by Mark. Really cool. Thanks, dude. Got a little mermaid over there. Hi, mermaid. Oh, I lost my friends. They're over here. Dig all the art. Some awesome art things. You want to get your 
your picture with the mermaid mark? <laughs> Do I want to? No. Maybe. Stop. Alright, so now we're in the convention here. Uh, I'm gonna walk around a bit. I'll pick up more or, uh, a little bit later. Alright. Alright, what's going on, people? So, now inside, it's day two. Uh, I will go ahead and walk everybody around. Um, we'll just start off over, we'll start off on the salt side. Why not? We'll finish on the fresh side. So, uh, lots of coral here, lots of salt products. Uh, not my area, but uh, really beautiful stuff. I don't have the glasses to cut the light right now, uh, like I did in the other one. But uh, it's cool. Very pretty stuff. Lots of different zoas, and hard corals, and brain corals, and leathers, and mushrooms. All cool stuff that I'm learning about. Uh, I swam with my whole life out uh, here in Florida and Atlantic side and down in the Keys and stuff, but never kept any of it. But it's intriguing. It's definitely a cool aspect. The colors are great. But uh, again, not what I do. But yeah, some nice stuff. So, really cool colors. They're doing some loud thing over there. I have no clue. Um, yeah, as you can see, lots of salt stuff. Lots and lots and lots of salt stuff. Just kind of walking, walking through here. A lot of art here this year as well. Um, every booth has uh, lots of art going on. Very cool scene. Lots of different uh, aquarium related trinkets and stuff like that. This guy's got some cool, cool, really cool stuff. I'm not gonna go that way because man, that's loud. So, uh, nice salt tank there. All sorts of vendors. Uh, they have Dr. Tim's here, Blue Dog Aquatics. Uh, I believe he's a, a shrimp person. Um, all sorts of different accessories too. So come into one of these, man. If you if you need snips or scissors or fragging tools or pin sets or anything like that, you'll find them here for a very good price. So if you have Aquashella coming to your your local town, which is Dallas and Chicago. Um, need some stuff. It's uh, definitely a good idea to, to hang out, hold on to your weight, and find some good deals at these uh, trade shows. So this is a little shrimp competition here. So my, uh, my buddy and teammate Grant Etter is uh, entered in these competition for uh, various categories. So definitely some cool stuff I uh, wish him all the best the announcement for the winner should be done uh, soon I'll, I'll put in the comments as to how Grant did and stuff like that and you can follow him on his YouTube as well he's got a very awesome YouTube where he explains on how he does what he does with these caradinas cool flower horn so fun fact about me before I dove completely head over heels uh, for plants. I, I bred uh, South American cichlids, discus, and uh, I kept flower horn. I never bred them, but I love the uh, I love the fish. I'm big on colors and patterns. That's what, if you can tell by my planted tanks and stuff like that, I love colors and I love to form patterns and stuff with my plants. And the fish, uh, flower horns, they just have that naturally, and that's part of their grading. So. I love them. I know a lot of people give them a lot of grief for being a hybrid cichlid, but flower horns are awesome. So, uh, they have all sorts of live speaker stuff going on at these events at Aquashella. Uh, some really good stuff. Uh, houseplants are kind of making a scene this year too, which is neat, seeing a lot of people do more houseplant stuff. Um, 
It's interesting. Definitely gives me some ideas for what I can do with my houseplants and stuff. Sorry. Uh, go around over here. Uh, my buddy uh, Jerry Joe. How you doing? <laughs> so uh, Lucas Bretz is here. He's like a guy who. I don't know if you know about him, you should, but he's one of the best uh, best inler breeders, guppy breeders, just all around cool dude. His channel's very informative. Another dude I definitely recommend searching. Uh, he's helped me with a lot of my breeding projects with my inlers and other things that I work on, as well as uh, DIY projects. The guy's got a knack for, for DIY stuff. So uh, Again, over here, there's so much art, uh, cool art pieces, uh, pictures, jewelry. All sorts of stuff. Uh, probably the coolest thing I've seen so far at the show. Uh, oh, no worries. Probably the coolest thing I've seen at the show so far are these stands. Um, they're awesome. Uh, they're made out of obviously solid uh, cuts of wood, and uh, very, very cool stands. Uh, very unique. Uh, just awesome stuff. And the kid, the guy who started it, he started it. Uh, Basically, during the pandemic this year, uh, downtime and just started making them, and they're they're awesome idea. It's called Zen Aqua. Uh, I would I would give them a look. Uh, I I would love to have a stand like this in my home for aquarium or aquascape or stacks and houseplants on. So really cool idea. Um, more art, some awesome art. Lots of cool glow-in-the-dark art here. That's kind of like the theme. Uh, this guy does highlighter art. He'll draw stuff for you. It's called the Drawing Man. More uh, photorealistic paintings and stuff like that. Amazing stuff. She's an awesome artist, by the way. Awesome artist. Uh, these people make amazing t-shirts. Very cool graphics. Uh, the Mermaid. Over here. Hi. <laughs> then we have uh, Dustin's from Dustin's Fish Tank over here. Uh, and then the Thousand Reef Mermaid Aura. So, Dustin's Fish Tanks, all the plants. Uh, this is really the only aquatic plant presence at Aquashella. There's a few other people slinging some buse and crips and little bags and stuff, but these is, Dustin's the only dude who has like actual plants here, uh, stem plants and stuff. So just cool, you know, it gives me hope that uh, you know there's not much going on competition-wise at these things. So I'll be diving into Dallas and Chicago hopefully. Um, this place here uh, has some of the most amazing hardscape uh, pieces that I've seen so far, as far as wood. Uh, I'm uh, extremely happy with what I've seen. I may go home with a whole bunch of ghost wood from these people because they have some awesome ghost wood pieces uh, in here. Just really nice ghost wood pieces. So I may dig into it. Probably gonna dig into it. <laughs> so, but a uh, really cool place. I'll see if they have. Uh, I don't see any, like, name. Uh, yeah, I don't see a name of their company. Up. I'm trying to get the name of the company for the video. What's the uh, name? Pet World Warrants. Pet World Warrants. Yes. Okay. Pet World Experience. Okay. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Thank you. Good. So, as far as hardscape goes, this is uh, the best solution. Um, Amazing stuff. That was awkward. <laughs> anyway, so more uh, artificial reef stuff, and then uh, aqua rocks, just more artificial reef stuff. Back over here, we got more mermaids and buckets. Wheeled around. Awesome, uh, awesome tanks. That are manufactured, you'll find a lot of tank manufacturers at these things, which is cool. You know, it just gives you 
Gives you hope. You can find all sorts of stuff. There's Jason, right there. <laughs> Being Jason. And uh, yeah, they have the the YouTube or fish tube people. All the all the YouTubers that do fish fish stuff and everything like that are here. Sean Peck. Uh, typically, there's a lot more of them. Uh, I think Chicago is going to have a few more people. So uh, then you have the Oase people over here. Um, Oase is an awesome company, as you guys know. It's the filters that I use exclusively uh, on a lot of my tanks. I guess I can't say exclusively, but I prefer their filters. This uh, escape was done by uh, Jeff Miyoki. So amazing, amazing selection of fish in there. I love the orange von Rios and the uh, Cucada rainbows. Plants look, plants look very happy. So, this is a cool skip. Then uh, go around over here. And this one uh, was done by Jen Williams. So, very cool, uh, very cool skip here. The thread fins up top there, you know, they're top dwelling thread fin cells, and then uh, everything else going on around. Uh, I, I like this scape a lot, it's cool. It's got, it just has that real natural feel to it, and the Schultzi eye quarries down there are really cool. I love quarry caps. So, if you guys uh, haven't heard of Oase or haven't used their filters, I suggest you guys definitely give them a try. They're awesome. So, I believe they have some. Oh, it's a tattoo. Interesting. I'll add that to my my sleeve. So yeah, go from there. Go over this way. It's a lighting system uh, for reef aquariums. Again, a lot of salt stuff. Not not too much freshwater stuff going on, but. Needs to, we can change that, guys. <laughs> so, uh, this is Aquachar. I don't know if you guys have heard of it, but it's an awesome uh, bio, bio carbon. It's a good stuff. This is uh, Brian Cuffney, who's the CEO of it. Also, my uh, homie, who just handed me a present. So, um, yeah, I'm excited now. I just got a present from him. Very cool stuff. But uh, if you guys haven't used this yet, I, I recommend giving it a try. I use it in my immersed plant setups, actually. I, I add their, their I, I get their bio product from him. He's, like I said, the dude, Brian's one of my really, really good friends. He's on my aquascaping team with me with Grant. Uh, so we share stuff, but yeah, I use this flake inside of my immersed setups. Um, and his uh, actual product and stuff like that would be amazing uh, application in, in planet aquariums uh, once we figure a bunch of stuff going on. So this is uh, Grant Etter, world famous, world famous shrimp breeder. Uh, yeah, he's got amazing, uh, amazing shrimp. Again, this is my aquascaping buddy. So cool stuff. Uh, he has a YouTube as well and his website where you can go and buy his plants from or buy his shrimp from and moss and other things that he sells on there. Um, we're going to be collaborating a bit and uh, I'll have his shrimp on my site and vice versa his plant, my plants on his site. So Definitely give it a go. If you're interested in learning about the Neocardinias or the Caridinias, uh, he's the dude to do it from. I've never seen more healthy shrimp in my life. Uh, I'll have to dig through and find the video of when I took the when I stayed at his house, but his shrimp are exceptional to say the least. I've never once seen more healthy kept shrimp uh, ever. So, and I've been to a few shrimpers' places, but definitely quality shrimp. I recommend him over a lot of folks. So here, just more more reef stuff. Uh, Lots of cool betas too. I walked past one of the booths before because it was really crowded. Um, this one's still kind of crowded too. But uh, they got 
lots of betas, and uh, it's really nice, like, really nice betas. Very popular fish, and it keeps people in the hobby, and it gives them, it's kind of a gateway into planted aquariums, too. So, uh, I won't complain about betas at all. So, CJ, CJ's here, CJ's pretty cool. Nice aquarium pump company as well. And, uh, yeah, we're kind of back into the, the middle of it all. So, I mean, the real experience with these comes from having conversation with uh, all the people that are here. Um, yeah, that's, that's the biggest thing. Jen Williams. How you doing? Are you wandering around? I am, yeah. Trying to get some stuff. I'll be back in a minute. So, yeah. If you're a hobbyist and uh, you're into any aspect of aquatics, Aquashell is a, a good place to go. And the dude who brought it on, Sean Hale, he's a solid guy. Um, been in the hobby for a while. Just, solid dude wants to see the hobby grow and uh, this is how it grows guys this is how we grow the hobby we come to events like these we talk to people we network and uh, we branch out so I highly recommend it if it's not your scene you know, poking your head in it's still not a bad idea all right guys I'm gonna walk around and uh, talk to some more people Actually, before I let you guys go, this is the cool beta stand. Uh, it's called Badfish Florida. If you guys are looking for betas, that's where you want to go. Um, these guys have such an amazing selection of beta fish. It's absolutely insane. I'll try to get some video of them, but people are standing there talking. And they have access to... Uh, wild caught betas as well so if you're into getting more of the wild caught betas they're a good place to go based out of here in florida and they do import uh, as well as breed these uh, betas so that's why i like them a lot but all right guys i hope you uh enjoyed the walkthrough and everything like that and i'm gonna let you guys go bye